Hey everybody, welcome, this is Tom, and this is the first of a whole series of videos on graphics. And in these videos, I'm gonna be using a module called graphics.py that is created by a man named, up here, John Zell, uh, for his book, uh, Introduction to Computer Science. And he made this just because he wanted something that a beginner programmer could use for creating graphics. And this tool is by no means, it's not anything you're going to be creating a big game with or anything like that. It's just a, it's just a tool for beginners to get used to graphics and kind of get even used to just programming in general. So everything here is really simple. It's pretty easy to understand uh, as long as you have kind of a basic background in programming. If you understand variables and loops and things like that, you could take this and you could build some pretty cool stuff. If you don't know any of that, you can actually learn to do a lot of that by messing around with this module. All right, so first of all, uh, where do you get this module at and how do you use it? Well, this module, if you come out to here, uh, you can just do a search for graphics. Uh, you wanna put a space in there, space pi. If you type graphics.py, it tries to find the, the domain graphics. So just do graphics space pi type that in, and this will probably be your first result. Uh, once you get that, you're gonna take this whole file, control A, copy, at least if you're on Windows, control A, or I think command A on a, on a Mac. And then you make this file, graphics.py, and you just paste it all in there, just like I did. And then you're gonna save it. And then you notice that I actually put it in the same folder as this other one. So this is my demo file. That's what we're gonna be programming in in a minute. And I put it inside there and it's in the same folder. If it's not in the same folder and it's not named exactly graphics.py, then the next step is not gonna work. So make sure it's named graphics.py and make sure it's in the same folder as whatever program you're about to make. Okay, so if you wanna put it all in another folder, just copy that over and then you're good to go. All right, so let's go back and uh, let's take a quick look here. So as I said, this is just one module and it's readable so you can come through and you can look at all the different things that are involved in here. So there's a lot of different stuff. Uh, there's C text, polygon, line, things like that. And if you wanna know more, you can come out to his website and he has a PDF and he has a reference here for HTML. And you'll see things like point, line, circle, rectangle, oval, all that. Uh, he has things for, uh, for input and changing colors and images. Aside from that, it doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, and as I said before, it's, it's just pretty simple, uh, pre pretty simple module. But come out here, uh, take a look at the PDF if you want you know, some example programs and stuff. All right, but enough of that, let's actually create a program. So coming back over to graphics demo, I'm gonna make the text bigger so hopefully you can see it on your screen. And I'm gonna say, a little too big there. So from graphics import star. And what that does is it takes this and lets us get access to all of these uh, classes and all of the methods that the classes have. All right, and I'm gonna create a main function here. This is my main. And of course I'm going to call main. But inside main I'm going to create a window. Graph win. And what this does is gives us the ability to name a window and then create the window. Alright, so with this program I can actually go ahead and run this. If I run it, you might have seen that. See, I'll do it, run it again. Uh, moving too fast. Yeah, there you go. It popped up and the window disappeared. And that's because it calls main, creates the window, and then exits. So the program is just done. So we want to stop that. So we're going to use git mouse. And what git mouse does is it sits there. You'll see here in a second. It sits there and it is waiting until I click the window. Now if I click the window, the program finishes. So click the window, program's gone. And we'll do it the proper way here as well, and we'll do close window just to make sure everything is 
closed nicely. And then all your programming you're going to do needs to take place between here and here. So everything you do takes place uh, between when you create the window and get mouse and when you close the window. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to uh, let's see, set the background to black. Okay, so let's go ahead and run. And now I have a black background. And you're looking at this and you're probably saying, well, that's kind of weird. You use the actual word black. What other things can I possibly use in here? Maybe if I put blue. Well, yeah, any a lot of the colors he's actually uh, coded in here, and you can see the uh, the words for them. And if you come over here and you look around for that type of stuff, he's got some of the words in here. Where is all that stuff? Eh, uh, it's somewhere in here. Uh, the more important thing is is this though color RGB. So we want to use this instead of using uh, these these words for colors. So a much better way of doing this stuff is um, actually now that I think about it, I believe this might be part of the TK uh, set which he used to build that file. But color RGB is what he has, and color RGB gives us three colors. So this is red, green, and blue. And each of these is an integer value. So this would be an integer, uh, maybe 255, 0, and 0. 0 is the smallest number you can make, and 255 is the biggest number. So if I run this program, I get a red window because it's full red. And let me make sure that closes. And if I put 255 in here, that means I have full green and full red, and I'll get a yellow. And if I throw in all three, I get pure white. So if you're familiar with RGB values because you've you know done something with HTML or pretty much anything using Photoshop or whatever, uh, you probably know what RGB is. Uh, the thing is, is if I put 256 in here, the program will crash. So you need to make sure that it's always 255 or less. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, turn our background back to black here. And I'll leave it as the RGB values for now. But you can mix up colors and do any numbers you want here. Uh, and, and you'll get all oh, but any color you want that you can make on a computer. All right, so let's do something else. Uh, let's go ahead and just do a simple circle, and we'll do that in the middle. And just like this up here, this is the constructor. So if you're familiar with object-oriented programming, this is the constructor that creates a window object. So this is our Windows object. And if I want to make a circle, I need to create a circle object. And to make a circle, I actually need a point first. So I'm going to make a point, 250, 250. And the circle is going to use that point. And then I'm going to give the circle a radius. Okay. So then I will set the circle to be filled. And I'll use color RGB again. And I will make it 100 red and 255 green and 50 blue. Then I will uh, draw it to the window. So let's see what happens here. So first, I'm going to create a point at 250, 250. Then the circle is set at the uh, center is set at 250, 250, so in the middle of the screen. And the radius is 50. Then I set the circle object that I created to have a fill of this color right here, meaning it's going to be filled in with all of that. And then I use the draw method, and I tell it to draw it to this window. So if I run this now, I get a circle that's right in the middle of the screen. So perfect. All right. Uh, so that's the basics of creating a program with, I'm going to move this down a little bit here, uh, with graphics.py. So not too hard. Uh, as you noticed, it's, there's no looping mechanism or anything here. Program just runs, throws a window up, and we're ready to go. Uh, in the next tutorial, 
I'm gonna look at a bunch of different other things that you can make and we'll do some looping and different stuff like that to draw other stuff. All right, so if you have questions about this, about maybe how to get this file or maybe you can't get it to work, uh, you can leave comments on YouTube or uh, comment on my website. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.